Hello and welcome to another update video about GRT. Yeah, some of you have asked me for a GRT update. Um, not really any changes on the wave count um, on the chart here. We're likely dealing with either a B wave pullback or a wave four pullback, depends on which support level is holding basically. But for me, I mean, I am, I'm basically leaning to the idea that this could be, that this could be a, um, a B wave pullback which could be quite deep, possibly targeting 15.7 cents or 11.5 cents. Certainly no low in place at this stage. And as per previous updates, I'm not covering GRT really so much in videos, but I've been covering it a few times on signals for our gold members and also in our member live streams. So the wave count itself hasn't really shifted. We are moving in something that we could consider a price channel. And the idea is that we had an initial rally, obviously, from the 2022 lows. That rally was only in three waves. So that's not great. Okay, the move down was corrective and it did hold a higher low. It did at the time hold, I believe, the 78.6 retracement, which is so important. Um, if we draw the Fibonacci levels, then yeah, it did hold the 78.6 retracement. We had a rally from there. But as you can see, I mean, that rally is clearly a three wave move up. So from an Elliott Wave point of view, this is not a great setup because a three-wave rally always indicates that, okay, we you know we could have a more substantial top in place. Um, never gives us that clarity, right, with three waves up. However, I think there is a case to be made for upside trend continuation, looking at the overall context and where we are in the crypto sector. But the price would need to hold the 11.5 cent level for that. Okay, the 11.5 cent level is the... Um, Important 78.6 FIP level. Also, if we break below that level, we would break below the trend line there that we have on the chart, the lower boundary line of the possible trend channel. It's a parallel trend channel that we get by connecting the tops of yellow wave one and three or white wave one and A. And then we draw a parallel line that gives us a corrective price channel, or you could say not corrective, but diagonal price channel, channel potentially. So there are two wave counts in, in one wave count. Yep, this was a wave one. I mean, that's the idea in both counts. This is a wave two. This pulled back into the October 23 lows. But then this is where the problem is. So it's possible because we could be in a diagonal that the third wave already finished. It would have been, it, it is a, I think, viable third wave. I think it was long enough. Did it reach the 1.38 extension? Let's check that. That's normally what I want. A minimal requ minimum requirement is the 1.236. Okay, that was reached. So because the 1.38 extension wasn't reached, but the 1.236 extension was reached, I can, I can call it a third wave. It's not a viable third wave. And it, had it reached the 1.38, I would be more comfortable in calling it a third wave. So the way to do this then is I will call it an A wave because I assume the third wave, it's, it's not strong enough really for a reliable third wave. So that means it could just be the A wave in a larger third wave. We're now moving down in a pullback in wave B of three, and then the third wave could still happen, right? Should obviously reach the upper boundary line or maybe even higher of that trend channel. So the problem I have with this is it's only a three wave move up. So don't think it's a great setup. It doesn't offer great probabilities, but if the price comes down a bit lower, close to let's say the invalidation point, which is the October low, or the 78.6 retracement, then we have a decent reward to risk ratio. At the moment, there is absolutely no low in place, or at least no confirmation that a low is in place. Okay, we have a three wave move down in A, three wave corrective rally in B, and that's the same whether this is a wave four pullback or a B wave pullback. But if it's a wave four, we should find support either at 19.6 cents or 15.7 cents. But if it's a wave B, it, well, it could go lower. Uh, it doesn't have to go lower, but it could go lower. B wave basically just allows for a deeper pullback. Now, if we then draw the Fibonacci extensions and have the 100% extension of wave A, we go to the high of the B wave, and then the, um, well, the 100% extension points to 14.8 cents. So this would naturally be a key target and um, there are a couple of additional levels to watch, 14.8 cents and 12 cents. So this is all I can say. Um, at the moment, there's no, let's say no confirmation lows in place. Well, one more thing we could do, we can draw a corrective price channel. 
So there are some additional levels to watch, right? This um, just the lower boundary line possibly, which aligns very well with the golden ratio level and the 100% extension. That's my update about GRT. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.